All right then. So we have a wrap up of this level, and then we'll get the hell out of here. It's basically one gigantic uh, arena still left. Um, I also want to get a. If I can, a better. I want to basically see this. The second level of end of the endless pass, because I want to get an idea of how many levels this place potentially has. Assuming this. I'd say four levels at least. And one of our guys is dead. Crits, crits. Yeah, three critical hits. Forty nine, forty eight. 32 and it's dead. Get your guns! Uh, we're in a bit of a bind here. Killed anyone. No, the first, second. You can cast something. God. Uh, we could use extra, extra hands here. Yeah, second tied it. A critical hit, hit, hit. So, yeah. Watch out! There's something special about this. No, they just. Accuracy. I don't understand what's how's the cap. This is the exact calculation. Hmm. Not sure how this is calculated. Either way, we fought against these guys uh, before. Why are they doing critical hits constantly? And it's all burn damage too. Is it just something they'll do? Either way, we're fucked in a few seconds, so we might as well start burning through magic. Lava beyond seek! You're dead too. Right. Critical hits. Just getting critical hits pretty much at this point, so. Don't understand why. All their attack rolls are critical hits. These two aren't gonna survive with that much longer either. Probably fairly resistant to fire though. Beyond 
I'll let Margaret's fire burn! Right, that went hey. not well. Well, it more or less just confirms my suspicions that we probably shouldn't be forcing our way down. We're not exactly having a good time of it. Severe burns. Exterity negative, damage reduction, burn negative. It's just going to escalate. Still, it is what it is. Zorik Skirmish. Medium leather. Stepping into this chamber, you are assailed by a cacophony of screeches, growls and barks. Blood spattered Zorips dance in frenetic leaping motions. To one side, a Zorip plunges his hand into a bucket teeming with blood to draw patterns on the others eager to join the rites. At the far end of the room, one Zorip, wearing the long skull of a young drake, and vibrant feathers, shakes a staff toward the gathered Zorips, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises the staff above his head, shrieking with renewed vigor. He swings the staff downward to point it at the pit, and then at you. I'm not sure I like that suggestion. Oh shit, hands only go visible. Of course we are. Um, a lot of trouble coming my way. Worms are my biggest concern. Although, naturally, the high priest is gonna kick our ass, but, uh. Discovered the sacrificial pit. Uh, we, if at all possible, we want to find in a more defensible location. Well, I have my doubts if we can find those. I don't want to give them a huge amount of range to fire on us. Um, sounds nice. The healing effect when our health goes low. We are relying on our bar to be able to cast those uh, skeletons this time. Hey. I uh, wish you won't go into the fight just yet. I really do need to get the spell casting on him on on our way. Fight. I'm sort of worried that the fight will end here. Shit. Can you go there? The fight? Brave. Right. 
Skirmishers, Zorips, Skirmishers, Zorips. I don't care what you really do. Just make sure that the fight continues. <laughs> High Priest will slaughter them. Yeah, I got them fairly well. Ah, thank you again. Following your lead. Step. Anything interesting with cast? Now we can uh, kill our own guys. area effect that sounds a lot better at this point. Following your right. He's uh, using his spell casting to get rid of the skeletons. That's fine. Stay in the background. Corrosion. Oh, green corrosion. Do need to start doing something against the priest. He is very, very, very dangerous. Uh, but also to speaker of the restless, try to frighten them. You just save your power. Yes. Lavaru, be on seek. Skeleton dead. How the hell does this work? You should get the high priest. See what happens. You. What exactly can you do? Can you lightning bolt their asses? We are able to cast another spell soon. And I'd be able to do other chants. It's because... Right, so I... I don't actually understand how this goes. Chanters spend most of their time in combat speaking chants. Chants are arranged strings of magical phrases that produce different effects. As one phrase ends, its effects will linger, overlapping with the effects of the next phrase. When a chant reaches the end of the final phrase, it will loop back to the beginning. Careful arrangements of phrases can produce a powerful sequence of passive effects. Yeah, but we need this also to... How the fuck does this really work? Um, seriously. How could you potentially add anything here for it? Oh. Click into chant to select it. Phrases clicked on the left panel will be added to the selected chant. If you wish to remove a phrase, click on the phrase in the chant. 
field of field of terror, fighting enemies in the area. Yeah, I still don't understand how this works. Can click anything I want, but nothing is near it. Maybe it's because I am in a hell of a fight. Let's go with that explanation for now. Okay, with this selection of skeletons, we should be able to finish this. The worm. It's not our biggest problem, but I, I need I need it out of the fight. Interrupt the high high priest, right? Right, that should, that should pretty much be this. Grave Turn back, there is only death upon the endless paths. So, we won this. Of course. That's the important part. This bucket is filled with blood and gives off uh, an acrid stench. We recognize it as Makga's Tears, a powerful poison. The blood spilled from this bucket seems to have eaten into the stone. The rope tied to the pocket looks long enough to descend into the pit. Let's see what lies this way. So and the fire shows me something new. Measured restraint. Unique ra rape here. Extra accuracy. Plus one enemy is engaged. Plus 12 accuracy. Plus 15% damage. It's a very very good rape here. Problem is, it's a rape here. Uh. I'll try to interact with the pit at least. This white pit descends into a grim darkness. You hear the whistling howl of wind, and from time to time hot gusts of air target your clothing. Yeah, jump into the pit. Examine the pit. The chasm appears to have been dug out with tools rather than being a natural formation. It seems to be very deep, but you cannot you cannot see the bottom of the gauge at a distance. Uh, let's try the grappling hook. You take the, a grappling hook from your pack and tie it up neatly around one of the heavy stone blocks around in the pit. A few hard tugs suggest that the rope will hold fast. Keeping a firm hold of the rope, you begin your descent into the darkness. Turn the e edge of the pit is far above your head and you can hear only the creak of the rope and your whole breath. Soon enough, however, you see another source of light far below. Past the dangling end of the rope, you can see a dimly lit room at the center of which is a circular stone pool. The pool is well filled with blood, and even at this distance you can pick out various limbs and mangled bodies, largely Zorb in nature. Tunnel bored into the stone ends a ways above the chamber below, and your rope extends no further. Yeah, jump back, 
that jump down in the pool of blood. Bracing yourself for the landing, you loosen your hold, dropping down the remaining distance to land with a, within the pool of blood with a noisy splat. Poisoned pool of blood, very likely, too. The thick, murky waters hinder your swimming, threatening to pull you down into the unseen depths of this grim pit. But at last you crest the surface and pull yourself up and over the brim to find yourself at the edge of a reeking slut sludgy mixture of blood and limbs. And now there's no way to get back up. Ugh. This, this does not coincide with our intended plans in any way. I was sort of curious. Layout. <laughs> Level 5. Ugh. Oh, fuck me. This was a terrible idea. The corpse draped over the edge of the pool is concordant contorted in the throes of what must have been his final agony, rotting skeletal hands still clutch towards his throat. Hmm. Light, flame, We're not in particularly good shape either, we have some weaknesses we carry. We are in not in particularly good shape and we are in a terrible, terrible place. Right. So it's more of a question of what's going to kill us horribly at this point. So looks like it's a scorched ground even. Right. Well, this looks like it's a room with uh, books and other stuff, so... Take a look. Expedition Lock. This appears to be a page torn from some larger text. Skada did not make it. I know Merrick tried his best. No point in turning back now. That's what Merrick is saying. I think the point is leaving the ruin these ruins alive. We have lost half of our people already, and I'm not sure how we are meant to survive this place, especially with Seda gone. The gods were kind to let us find that study and the books there. Those tomes would fetch a good price in and of themselves. We don't need to go any further. But that seal has stirred his blood. He's sure we'll find more in Witten relics below. Every step takes us further from a guaranteed hall and deeper into unknown territory. I don't know what madness has gripped him. I cannot stop thinking about Edriga, the way she screamed. Sexy screams? And the fire shows me something new. Skeletons. They don't appear to be... Zalrips. It's about to say they don't really appear to be hostile, let us stand there. Still, just Zorips. I say just Zorips, but uh, not exactly a great I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very I wonder if there's a path where there aren't an uh, army of enemies waiting for us. A drake. Well, we're gonna die horribly here, but uh, I'm okay with that. I The initial plan was never to come here at this point. Door of skirmishers and a fucking drake. Body there. At the edge of this expansive chamber, encircled by a jabbering host of Zorips, stands a massive reptilian creature. Its snout is spattered with the bloody rem remnants of our recent meal. Cabets of flesh still spread. 
appeared on crooked fangs. Zorb shift anxiously, looking up expectantly at the drake as the beast stretches leathery wings in challenge, crushing the pillars to either side. Yes, yes, more sacrifice. It flaps its wings briefly and stirs up great dark clouds of dust. Come here, human. Be honored. Honor? Great honor. Strength for lizards. Blood for painting. Good fortune. All this I give. I am merciful and great. It opens its jaws wide, revealing sickle-sharp teeth and a forked tongue. The Zorip sacrificed to you. Are you the master below? Master below is below. Sacrifice is not very smart. You think you see a section of the drake's scaled chest begin to glow orange as it last. Master made me lord here. Here I am king. Flame scowled from its nostrils and gaping jaws. I am god of fire and gold. Right. We are not in any condition to try to do this. Well, since we are here, we might as well die once to it. No harm in doing that. We don't even have our normal spells. Got a weapon. I don't think it'll affect them too much. This put in blues. So all protection. Plus 15 defense to all allies. I, I think we need to try to cripple him somehow. That's otherwise we're gonna be fucked anyway. Generates a magical seal that explodes in a burst of electrical energy when an enemy comes into contact with it, inflicting shock damage. These kind of spells could potentially be used to just burst a huge amount of damage on something. Their duration is 10 minutes, so you could easily place them outside of combat, I think. Then just try to lure that one there. Might not not have killed him, but you could have bursted enough damage that uh, fighting him wouldn't be so ridiculously troublesome. Do this. I think both. Yeah, chances of this working isn't exactly great. Necrotic mm, lands. The big problem is that if we would have the Drake as opponent, fine. But now we have a lot of other things too, and yep. Champions, champions, uh, yeah, this is not gonna, it's not gonna go well for us. Huge shock there. Oh, fuck. Am I casting something? Web. 
You're currently attacking a foe with at least one defense, deflection for the dude reflex or wheel, that is much higher than the accuracy of the character attacking you. When defense is significantly above accuracy, it can be extremely difficult to hit to score a hit and impossible to score a critical. Try to raise the attacker's accuracy or use a spell or ability that uh, targets a different enemies. Oh shit. 66. Uh, armor class basically. 65 physical protection. Maybe mind affecting. Damage reduction 18. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Uh, we might as well die just to a rip effect damage. The problem is the Drake, though. It's a uh, Unless I have an answer for that particular problem, it, it's all for nothing, always all for nothing. And here comes the soldier. Ooh. Our hero is getting horribly slaughtered. I'm knocked on my ass. Something else. Anything else I can cast? Oh, yes. Please don't go close to the break. Please don't fucking. And we don't have enough attack power to really kill anything. Pulling <sighs> flame, maybe? Doing something. We're getting horribly murdered, but uh, there's another high priest here too. Right, so it's like the previous uh, hard fight we had, then add a Drake to it. It's weak, well, weak to mental effects, but otherwise it's actually fairly strong. Let's see if we can spook them a little bit. Like, gotta cast something. I suppose we could try to get rid of some of the weaker ones. Yes. Pretty sure the cleric could do something, but 
definitely not with others problems. There's still the two champions too. Ugh. Crap. Well, there's not much I can do, just try to keep on killing people. But that'll be enough. Hey. I did damage to the Drake, but uh, we're losing our fighter fairly fast. Two champions left. Just spam everything you got to get rid of the champions. You get out of there for a second. Actually, to feel triage on him. Wine mark. Burn. Against wheel, too. Minus deflection. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what we need. Not sure. 48% chance to hit, it's not too bad. And none of us can actually do anything. Just keep attacking. Hi. I'm surprised this has gone this well. Although we haven't done anything really to the Drake, so there's uh, no point celebrating at this point. However, we could have definitely handled things better here. I'm waiting for anything I can do to disrupt. Anything. Not really. Nothing worthwhile at we do have this, Crucible to Soul. Brains, burn damage, endurance, fortitude. Uh, it's not gonna work on the Drake though. Beyond. Um. Try to kill the dude. 49% chance of hitting. And he's very hard. Ugh, shit. I, I, I need to try to clear the. Fighters out of fight. Higher plus. What exactly did it do again? Burn damage, deflection. No, burn damage probably isn't gonna work on him. Yeah, 36 protection against burn damage. But uh, there are other debuffs. I still doubt. Days for 25 seconds. And it's against will, but uh, I need to do damage. Freeze damage. He isn't gonna have a resistance against it and reflexes. Ooh, his uh, physical defense is actually low thanks to this. Ah, 
holy meditation, prayer against fear, restore endurance, withdraw. We could use uh, anything that attacks their physical attributes, not really. Increased damage. We we might as well try these. Holy Radiance. Regenerating a modest or amount of AD endurance for allies. Might as well do that. Oh, you fucking champion. Also flanked. Do we have any spells? Not really, no. We do might have some scrolls. Uh, nothing worthwhile. Right. You should have a potion. Do we have a potion? Not sure even what these do. 56 endurance. Keep that in mind. Right. Resolve and dexterity are reduced. Accuracy is reduced. Immune to dragon breath, frightened, ground, stuck, terrified, you're right. He's, she, he's not gonna give a shit about this. But, uh. I'm also doing mostly. crushing or burn damage, so I don't think he's gonna give a shit about that either. Can you. Help kill the champion then. No, no, no. I see. Whoa, ho, ho. Things happen. Drake breath happened. Drake activates breath. Yeah, that, that's what happened. No spells, no nothing. So yeah, good luck trying to kill the trade. It's time to get the camp. Can't even move anymore. I think he use his breath attack to kill his last allies too, so... Ah. One or two points of damage. A little bit of debuffing... And you can at least make it vulnerable. And we want to go with some... Uh, fire protection against this. Also... Relatively weak against Pierce. Let's Watch out! Uh, running away isn't gonna do anything. Huh? Ah, not quite. Okay, at this stage, the Drake alone would be challenging. The rest of the trash makes it very, very tough. Maybe if we had uh, no, we would be in full shape with full abilities. We might be able to do something, but uh, at this point, it would also be something that I'd have to load multiple times probably to get to get through. And I, I have better and easier places to go to at the moment, so I, I don't particularly see a reason why I should just keep banging my head against this. For fuck's sakes, I can just go hey. for the rest of the levels. I mean, that's fifth level stuff. Why not just go to level two instead if uh, that's our, that's what we want to do.
other way. We don't particularly want to be here now anyway. But it's a good uh, thing to have sort of a grasp of what to expect here. Uh, I doubt that Drake is going to be the only uh, nasty opponent we'll have to deal with. Right, it's the Lord of the Land that we're supposed to go. Eight the villagers. By the time we're done with that, we should be able to have another construction project done. Maybe the main keep. We could also focus on buffing our equipment. Against the pole, we know again that we are going to face opponents like the Drake, so maybe equipments uh, specifically targeting them. It wouldn't even have to be all that specific, just the more accuracy, accuracy capabilities on physical fighters, fire resistances, maybe things like that. We do have elemental resistance for the mages, but the, the mages aren't really at the greatest risk against them anyway. Where exactly do we want to go? We don't want to go south yet, but uh, I think I do want to mark it. Wooden planes. Durford and Edel One Bridge. What's wrong with this? Uh, doesn't really matter. I'll go to Eastern Wood, clear that. Probably go to Gilded Village to sell our excess crap. Maybe you should visit Silent Lees. A long way. Uh, not now. Just to see what it looks like now. Take the other group members to see the device. Well, this can't possibly be worse than the place we left from. Sharp eyes and keen ears. I probably should uh, go visit the village just to get the uh, camping equipment. Warding symbols as red and rough as sca scabs have been carved into some of the trees. If we could talk to the Lord first, I'd definitely prefer that route. Because I have no idea about his perspective and why he's doing these things. You must I'd... gather your party before venturing forth. Ah, uh, I haven't heard that in a long time. Wish I didn't hear it now either. This was a reason why it was always amputated way from Baldur's Gate. Because it gets incredibly annoying. I know. If it doesn't go into the map screen, I know I'm not, I'm not there with the entire group. 
I don't need to be told. More warning symbols. I imagine there's some kind of a guard on the bridge. It's not a bridge. Path up. Hit bodies. Well, there's some kind of ambush here. Human skeleton vessels. Oh, Mawa skeleton. Excellent. You. Getting through me. I shall be discreet. Black sword fight. Of course. Tombstones. Yeah. Right, these memorials are part of the Obsidian Order. These are from the packers of the game, so they're they can be very immersion breaking. The game warns about it in in advance, so you if you don't want to break your immersion, don't read the tombstones. There's uh, there shouldn't be anything relevant there. But probably everyone who Donated a certain amount, got their memorials here in the game. Fine Arbalest. I'm reading them in the sense that I check if there's even something that could be remotely. See now what the flame has shown us? Something relevant, or is it all just this rubbish? Yeah. Rubbish it is. Cumulative of health, max endurance bones plus 15. Fine dagger. Plus nine wheel. Graveyard. Okay, I'll finish uh, clearing up this map, then we'll head back to the nearby village. Uh, buy extra camping supplies, sell excess crap, rest at the inn, then come back here, see this through. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places.
fresh carving, fresh carvings. Maybe there's some carver nearby. Vessels. I'll see what I can find. What's that? Spare spiraling. Probably not alone. Right. You're not good. <laughs> Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Probably more spiders here. I mean, a couple of spiders of that caliber aren't exactly a challenge at this point. I'm Horn Hill. To whispers and shadows. Stack. Frederick sold. Right. So I think that's our goal for the next time. Depending on the difficulty, we might be able to even complete it. And what exactly is expected of us to do there. Considering our party, I don't think we're gonna get a friendly welcome, but at the same time, and our lack of a uh, persuader. and keen ears all right then no real resistance no new place to go to Basically, the graveyard was the only thing here. Go to the shop, sell a lot of excess crap. Go to the inn, buy supplies, rest, then prepare to head toward the. Sir, what you might call a state.
Well met, friend. Oh. Anything particularly interesting? He should have new things at this point. Although that's um, a lot of the crap I've been selling here. Fine brigandine. I think I'll just use the items I find mostly. Bracelet would provide protecting protection against burning. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, ring of protection wouldn't be a bad idea either. Might be able to dodge the effect, although I find that uh, somewhat unlikely. Bronze horn figurine. Summon animat. Camping supplies. Yeah. Do I take all of them? I'll take three. I don't recall how many camping supplies we have. Hits are fairly cheap. Didn't we used to have a spider at some point? Ah, there we are. Great sword, fine. This might be great if we need to has some... no, it doesn't even have damage. Damage penetration. I definitely wouldn't use that. We are not going to use a scepter either. Uh, right. Stash. Oh, yeah. This shit. Not exactly worth much, but it's worth something. I, I don't even care at this point. I, I just need to get rid of it. Why am I not seeing them? Okay, where does these things go when I click it here? I have no idea. Ah, here. Right, that is, that is fine. Medium armor, fine. Fine leather armor. These are sort of worthless, but at the same time we might as well sell a couple of weight. Now we could use buff items too to try to get through this opponent's like drakes. Right. It's not worth much, but it's still worth about a thousand. We can certainly do the next facility upgrade, that's the important part. Uh, no, can I... Trade? Oh.
Hey. Hey to you too. Finished in 52 minutes. Right hollow restoration. Her, well, resting at this inn is, uh, I think, free too, unless you want some kind of specialty bonuses. Greetings. Hire some help. Retrain a character. I think I'll try this at some point. I mean, quite literally just try it. See what it is. What's the difference between regeneration and endurance? Instant endurance upgrade, regeneration, yeah. A couple of the potions, things like that. Intelligent use of resources, full spell load. And the other drake is different. Recruit adventurers, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. I don't dislike this system. I think it's a mixture of uh, do your own party from uh, fully, or the, use the NPCs the game provides, uh, or mix things up however you like. I think it's actually a fairly nice idea. And why have one or the other? You can have both at the same time. I'll stick to the NPCs we can uh, find in the game. I, I, I would definitely would have liked another frontline killer. Perception mechanics plus two resolve. Um, let's give me the common room. Construction completed. We have to do the main keep. Without the main keep, nothing will ever happen. So, 1,400 copper pieces, 3 days. 3 prestige, 4 security. Yeah, do it. It should be finished around the time we are finished with the quest with the local lord. Hmm, I wonder if we need to talk to people to hire people to come there. They did, or do I need to basically just build an upgrade and the shopkeepers will arrive? Great Rick's hold, right. Okay, now hours. Do it. it. We don't require rest. It should be daytime when we arrive, and uh, nothing besides that. Either a fight or a poking session. Probably a mixture of both. Right. Lord Rhetoric. Rhetoric. Whatever. Master Blood. Confront Lord Redrick the Seventh inside Redrick's keep. Uh, there was some kind of ally there. If we can uh, get to him, Carl Endurance spent time traveling with Durance. Right. 
but we should talk to our companions. After we've dealt with the the Lord, then we'll chat with our uh, companions a little bit, see what happens. Fragments of a scattered tape. Travel with either to the records archive. A great and ancient weapon has been dismantled, its pieces strewn throughout the endless path of Art Noir. Perhaps if all these pieces can be found again, the weapon can be reformed. We don't have that many extra things to do either. Everything is either the endless path or move along with the main plot or try to get the main plot going. That's an odd part about this game so far. Yeah, we, we sort of have this sudden thing happen at the start and we have this ability because of that, but Nothing has really happened. The events could be potentially very meaningful and very dangerous even, but we don't know. It's just something odd that happens and we're sort of going around our merry way, having no real hurry at the moment, just trying to see what happens to come along. So not exactly a <sighs> The game doesn't really throw you in the thick of it. I guess the start was sort of an attempt to get things going, but you mm. It stopped at the start. After that, there hasn't been all that much going on. <laughs>